Good morning, everyone. It's Dr. Charlotte Hodges, and I am getting ready to do a couple of cases this morning, and I want to make a little quick video. Um, actually, I'm going to make two um, just about surgery, and I'll probably also take a couple of pictures while I'm in the OR as well, so stay tuned for those. Um, but I've had a couple of um, patients um, ask me initially, what really makes somebody a good candidate for surgery? Um, because they might ask, you know, they're coming in to be seen, but their family members might have questions or their friends have questions. And, you know, um, I feel like there's kind of a spectrum of patients that are good candidates um, for surgery. Technically, if you have a BMI greater than 35 and a comorbidity like high blood pressure, diabetes, insurance will um, typically cover weight loss surgery for you. And BMI is just a way that we standardize weights. It's a ratio of your weight to your height. Um, however, if you have a BMI over 30 and you have comorbidities such as diabetes, um, there are um, there are recommendations that bariatric surgery is safe for you. Now, does that mean that insurance will cover it? Not necessarily. So. How do you really know what your BMI is to see, are you a good candidate? And there's actually a lot of different calculators that um, are online. The one that I usually go to is there's one from the NIH and you just type in your height and your weight and it gives, it spits out the number and lets you know exactly uh, where your BMI is. Now, I have a lot of patients So I actually have a lot of patients that will ask me exactly um, if I don't have a calculator, really what is this BMI telling me? Or how can I guesstimate maybe uh, with my weight? And typically if you're 50 to 60 pounds overweight, probably gonna be pretty close to being a candidate for surgery. Um, the kind of the guesstimate that I use is if you are a woman and then it's all based on your ideal weight and your ideal weight starts off at 100 if you are a five foot. And then for every inch over five feet, you get five pounds. If you're a man, you get seven pounds for every inch over um, five feet. Now, I am 4'11". That would mean that my ideal body weight would be 95 pounds. Do I wanna weigh 95 pounds? And do I weigh anything near 95? No. However, what patients really need to recognize is this, um, and I've seen this so much, certainly living in the South, that our idea of what a healthy weight is, is very skewed. Whenever we were determining BMIs and what was considered overweight and obese, um, and where we were getting these different categories, a lot of it also has to do with our risk stratification, meaning they looked at various BMIs over the spectrum, and then they looked at different rates of patients that had high blood pressure, diabetes, things like that. And that's kind of how they kind of helped them to group these different BMIs. So when you look at a BMI, the reason why it's very important is whenever we as physicians are looking at that group, we are basically looking at somebody's risk for specific health problems. Well, that's one way to look at it. And so um, I know people don't like to have labels. That is not what the purpose of a BMI is. That's not what having a certain weight is all about. Quite frankly, as a health professional, it really helps us to have a very good candid conversation with our patients about their weight and what it really means to them and their health and their longevity. That's really what it's all about. So go to the NIH. Um, they have a little BMI calculator. You can quickly pop in your um, weight and your height. You can do it in the metric system or in the United States system. I prefer feet and pounds, but you can do either or, and it will tell you what your BMI is. Uh, but as a quick guesstimate, if you're about 50, 60 pounds overweight, you're probably getting pretty close to being a candidate for surgery. So. Help, hope this really helps you guys. I want you to know that I have many more patients that are coming to me, not 
for not just for weight loss, but they want to have resolution of their high blood pressure, their diabetes, their sleep apnea. I have a bunch of um, folks that will come to me that need their commercial driver's license. If they have sleep apnea, if they're on insulin, they're just not going to get their medical clearance and they're not going to be able to um, get their um, CDL so they can't even drive and provide for their family. So there are many, many more reasons now that patients are coming to me for um, uh, for weight loss surgery. So thanks so much. I hope that this helps and tell your friends about it. Bye.